Hi guys, welcome. In today's video, we are going to learn how to turn on your flashlight from your Android app. And I will put the source code in the video description. So now, let's build it. But before we begin, please make sure to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get notification when we upload more content. In Android Studio, I have already created the project. And in the XML file, I have already added two buttons here with a linear layout. This button here to turn on the flashlight and other one is to turn off the flashlight. Nothing special here. And in our main activity.java, I have initialized two buttons here and assigned them to the following IDs. Now first we have to declare some permissions here. For that we will go to our android manifest.xml file in our apps manifest directory. And in here we will write opening angle bracket uses permission and that would be android permission.camera. We need an another one and that would be our flashlight permission. We need an another one and this time we will write opening angle bracket uses feature. And the name would be Android dot hardware dot camera. We need another users feature, and that would be Android dot hardware dot camera dot flash. You need to declare these two users feature here if your app is targeting API lower than twenty three. Otherwise, above two would be enough. And now I'll be closing this file. And now I'm gonna create a separate method to turn on and off the flashlight. For that I'll go outside of the onCreate method and in here I'm gonna write private void flash switch. I'm gonna create a boolean parameter here called input. And in the parenthesis first I'm gonna check if the user device has flashlight or not. For that if this dot get package manager dot has system feature package manager dot feature camera flash if it's returned true that means user device has a flashlight else we can display toast message no flashlight found that means user device doesn't have any flashlights and now in here we're gonna use our camera manager api but it only works on api level 23 or higher so first I'm gonna check our API level here and this is gonna ensure that code inside it only works if our API level is greater than or equal to marshmallow. And now I'm gonna initialize our camera manager. Call it cam manager. Cast it to camera manager. Get system service. And the name of the service obviously would be our camera service. Semicolon. And now we're gonna create a string called camera ID and set it to null. And now camera ID equal to cam manager dot get camera list and pass zero in square brackets. This line of code will ensure that we only get the back camera of our targeted device because you know nowadays the device comes with many camera attached. Now you may see this air line here. Just wrap it with try and catch to resolve it. And now inside the try block we are gonna write camera manager dot set torch mode. As you can see this takes two parameters. The first gonna be the camera ID that we have just created above comma second would be a boolean and in here we are gonna pass our input variable that we have just created as an argument of this method at the beginning that's all you have to do if you are targeting minimum android 23 or higher in my case my project is set up to android 19 so i'm gonna show this how you can do it in your lower versions apis for that we are gonna create an l statement and first we are gonna initialize our camera with android hardware in its name I'm gonna call it camera equal to camera dot open semicolon. 
now we're going to take another class that is called parameter enter dot hardware dot camera in its name i'm going to call it p equal to camera dot get parameter semicolon and now we're going to take our parameter and call dot set flash mode and pass this one parameters dot flash mode touch and now we're going to take our camera and call dot set parameters and pass p as a parameter and now we're going to need another class called surface texture i'm going to call it texture is equal to new surface texture and pass zero as a texture name and now we're going to call camera dot set preview texture pass our texture and again if you see this error just wrap it with try and catch and now we have to check our input if it's true then we're going to call camera dot start preview and it's going to turn our flashlight on and else to turn off the flashlight we're going to call p dot set flash mode and pass this one flash mode off and now we're going to call camera dot stop preview and camera dot release to turn off our flashlight and that is all for our method and now in the onCreate method we're going to call light on dot set on click listener new dot view on click listener and in here to turn on the flashlight we're going to call flash switch method and pass true as a parameter and simply like this to turn off the flashlight we're going to call flash switch method and pass false and now let's see how it's working you need a physical device to test it because emulators doesn't have any flashlights it gonna simply returns as no flashlight is found so you can see that our app is successfully installed if i click this switch it's gonna turn on our flashlight i can show you in here but you can see in the notification that this device flashlight is currently on and if i click this button it's gonna turn it off okay guys that's it for today you are gonna get the sample code in the video description thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel take care